I am in Fish Camp, California, just outside the gates of Yosemite National Park. Had an amazing time. We stayed three nights here at Tanaya Lodge. Highly, highly recommend this hotel. It is absolutely amazing. Such a great vibe, such an amazing trip. But today is all about the road trip back home down to Los Angeles from the Fish Camp area. And according to a better route planner, it has us making it down there on one stop. That one stop, Tahone Ranch. So let's see if a better route planner jives with the onboard nav inside the car. Ooh, really, really stiff cables. It's because it's cold. Really, really stiff. Let's get it plugged in. Take a look at the nav. Lots of sunshine, sorry about that. So I trickle charged uh, all night, uh, keeping the battery somewhat warm. Basically it charged for like 16 hours on really, really slow, you know, just the regular outlet kind of uh, charging. So hopefully that kept it warm enough. We're gonna see here in a second what it ramps up to. Obviously I preconditioned, but it was only like a thousand feet from, <laughs> from our room to the supercharger. It looks like we're gonna probably maybe get 20 or 30 kilowatts here in this cold. All right, but let's see how the trip goes. We want to go one stop to Tahone Ranch because we know we can make it home from Tahone Ranch. We've done that trip a thousand times. Never done this trip from Fish Camp down to Los Angeles. So this is kind of an unknown for us. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, how do we cancel this out? Oh, down here. Um, so let's find Tahone Ranch. And the reason why this is a different um, scenario for us, there's a really weird light glare there, is because uh, between Visalia and Tahone Ranch, there's nothing, there's no superchargers. So we, our last bailout option is Visalia. Uh, so we've got to figure it out between now and then if we're going to make it to Tahone Ranch. I hear it's gonna be windy today as well. So let's take a look. Looks like we're topped out at uh, 27 kilowatts here in the cold. It's uh, 35 degrees. I uh, preheated the car as much as I could for about 10 minutes. I know that's not near enough, but uh, I got the seats warm, got the uh, heated steering wheel warm. That's about it. Hopefully the battery stayed warm enough all night by slow charging. I know it's not as good as L2 or Super, but uh, we've had a two miles so far since I'm talking to you. All right, so there's Bakersfield. Santa Clarita is where we're actually headed. Let's find that um, Tahone Ranch supercharger, which is right here somewhere. There it is. This side, navigate. So a better route planner said we could make it. And let's see if the actual nav says we can make it. Man, that sun is rough. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Next time navigate to the supercharger, battery will precondition for faster charging. Yeah, I know, but you know, it was like a thousand feet. <laughs> I couldn't. But thanks for the tip. I love it. So it looks like we could already make it. Uh, what is that, 19%? 16 down here, what is that? It says 16 as well. So here's the thing though, we're gonna have lunch in Fresno. You know us, we like our spaghetti factory. So we are gonna stop in Fresno, uh, which is about an hour, 15 minute drive from Fish Camp, the Yosemite area, down to Fresno. Uh, I think it's right off the freeway, maybe a few blocks. We shouldn't lose too much range there. But uh, so that'll be one hour of the trip. And then we want to make it from Fresno down to Tahone Ranch, which is a three hour uh, ride, 195 miles. Uh, it says we should arrive there with 16%. I'm going to do a buffer because I hear it's windy. And I also want to do a buffer because we're starting cold. We're going to lose a certain amount at the start here as well. So uh, we'll just get this battery nice and toasty, get it all charged up, but it looks like uh, it should be no problem getting to Tone Ranch without uh, having to stop anywhere else. Got some new information here, actually. Uh, as we're charging, it does say that the battery is still cold, still low, battery temperature low, which is unfortunate because I thought leaving it on the trickle charger overnight would at least keep it uh, somewhat uh, warm. But just in case you're uh, doing a cold weather trip like this was, and you want to know if that slow charger is going to keep it toasty? Apparently not. Uh, when it dips into the 20s and 30s, it's uh, still going to be cold soaked enough to give us this message. Nearing the end of the charge here, we are going to unplug here in mere moments, but uh, I added our uh, spaghetti factory stop. It has us arriving at 94% state of charge from leaving here around 98% on the battery. 
either we are going way downhill, which I think is par part of the problem or part of the uh, scenario, but uh, also there's some funkiness here because it has us arriving at Tejon Ranch at 91%. I'm not so sure what's going on there. So some funkiness there. We will reevaluate along the ride. That's part of the fun of these road trips and these videos here on YouTube, sharing our experiences along the way. So at 98%, which I rarely ever do, uh, I in, fa in fact, I even tell you not to do that here on the channel, but uh, we're at 9, 12 a.m., 35 degrees. We're all kind of... There are spots available. None of us, even though there's a car next to me, it's not technically sharing because neither of us are getting much of a charge rate anyway. So uh, not a big deal. When I saw him rolling up, I'm like, oh no, he's sharing. Oh wait, neither of us are even gonna come even close. So not a big deal. So that's where we're at, 97% state of charge. We are gonna be leaving uh, within the hour. You don't wanna leave it uh, at that high state of charge for very long. So that's the plan today so far. We will evaluate as we go along. Again, Visalia is our last bailout option uh, from Visalia down to Tejon Ranch. So we gotta make a decision, see if we can make it at the Visalia point of the trip. All right, we have tapered way down to 14 kilowatts. We have added 15 kilowatt hours on this session and 42 miles per hour. Um, what have we added? Oh, we have to put it in miles. Oh, it just finished. We added 57 miles on, uh, on the charge. So let's go unplug and get out. So again, normally not something I do on superchargers, charging to near 100%. Get that thing in. There are one, two, three, four other Teslas, including mine. So five on this uh, eight stall, two, four, six, eight. Yep, eight stall, and this is a V2. So they're running at 150 kilowatts normally. Uh, here in the cold, obviously not so much. So there we go, we are charged. Got the plan in there, we got the route in there, and uh, the only thing left to do is go pack the car and get out. All right, we are heading out. We're going to the Old Spaghetti Factory. That's kind of what we like to do. If you look at video number one, we did that. Uh, we're leaving at 96% uh, state of charge, 260, 76 miles on the battery, actually 98% here. I want to say 96 down here. Oh, that's what we're going to arrive at. Uh, so 98 and 276, leaving a 1015 uh, and 54 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is our view out the window as we are leaving. There we go. Bye, Yosemite. Bye, Tanaya Lodge. As I mentioned, amazing, amazing hotel. Highly recommend. It was amazing. Yes. Two amazings. Two amazings. And so this is what the, um, the cottage area looks like. It looks like there's three units per structure i guess you'd call it at least ours was yeah i think all of them have two downstairs and one upstairs that's what it looks like and you just kind of meander your way around it's all one way lots of parking i think they plan parking for enough for each building uh, we saw tons of teslas here so if you're thinking about coming to yosemite and you're worried about taking your tesla don't even if you don't stay at tenaya lodge stay nearby so you have access to the superchargers um, there's also charging, thanks to Rivian, within the village area of Yosemite. In 500 feet, turn left onto Highway 41. So even when you're up there, you might get a little uh, top-up charge from uh, Rivian, and they are free, at least at the moment. And there seems to be a growing number of them. They keep, uh, keep building more of those Rivian. And they're L2, so they're slower charge. But, I mean, if you park and then go hiking and stuff, you're going to get a decent charge out of it. So here we go. We're on our way to Spaghetti Factory, Fresno. Never been to that one. We're gonna arrive at Spaghetti Factory at 94%. What are we at now? 98%. So, I mean, I, I could buy that. We're downhill for the most part. But take a look at Tejon Ranch. We're supposed to arrive on this charge. What does that say? 90? I can't read, I'm, right. I'm driving too. We're gonna arrive at Tejon with 91%. It is changing by the minute, so. Okay, but still, I mean, that's either a heck of a tailwind, like my son said, or something's not right. Well, it's going down now by the... Okay, well, good, that, that makes more sense, because, I mean, otherwise it's just ludicrous. Well, so we're going down this hill, a major hill, which we didn't realize coming up because in a Tesla you just don't feel it, but we gained a percent. We're at 99% now getting down this hill, and we still got more hill to go. But now it says we're going to be at the spaghetti factory at 91%.
Okay. So it is adjusting. How are we going to get that to hone at 93%? Well, no, that's down to 89%. Oh. So this is the town of Oakhurst, which has a bunch of hotels and more uh, restaurant options, amenities, McDonald's, Carl's, Subway, Starbucks. It does have a supercharger here, so if you want to stay down here, it's just a, about a 20 minute drive, maybe less, up to the other supercharger and Tanaya Lodge. Also has a grocery store, so if you are staying up at Tanaya, stop here and get food at, at, uh, at Vons because there's really not much up at Tanaya Lodge at all. You kind of have to eat at their restaurants. There's really no shopping. So uh, this is the place to do it on your way in Oakhurst if you need stuff. down another 7% grade. We are using very little battery heading into Fresno from Yosemite. Uh, we started I think at 97% and we're still at 95% and it fluctuates a little bit but man it's just amazing going down that much. Uh, we're using very little to get where we're going to uh, Fresno. There it is. There it is. All right, we're making our stop in Fresno, California. Uh, Longtime viewers of the channel know that we like spaghetti factories. And there's one right there that we haven't been to. Spaghetti factory, Fresno. And then we'll uh, reevaluate what our trip looks like after we have a good lunch. So looking at this spaghetti factory, they all have some sort of unique building story. I don't know what this is. It looks like kind of a bank or maybe hotel or... So far, I think my favorite one is uh, downtown San Diego. That one's pretty nice pretty cool. So uh, we're gonna check this one. We've been to the one in Duarte, which is a school, a former school. So for some reason, most spaghetti factories have a train in the middle. Not all, but it seems like all the ones we've been at, we're off here in the corner. But uh, pretty cool location. We have to figure out exactly what this building is. They've got some history up there on the ceiling. The one in Duarte has a bunch of flags in the middle. All right, so the answer to our question walking in, it's a uh, old bank, which is kind of what we thought because it looks like an old bank. And the proof was there was a vault, I guess, upstairs that was still there. So bank is the answer to the question. Oh, Dad, it seems more accurate, 34%. All right, so a thought better of itself, we are not gonna arrive at Tahone with, what was it, 96% or 90. something? 90%, 34% uh, sounds about right. So two hours, 14 minutes, 143 miles, that sounds legit now. So let's uh, head on our way. We are at 91% state of charge or 256 miles on the battery. Heading to Tahone Ranch should uh, get us there at 32% state of charge, two hour, 10 minute ride or 142 miles. So there we go. Heading to the 41 South and then the 99 South. Fresno, or at least the next three exits are downtown Fresno, in case you want a frame of reference of where we are right now. We're in Visalia. This is our last opportunity to supercharge. There's a big void between Visalia and Tahone Ranch. There's nothing in Bakersfield on the 99 side just yet. There's a couple, I think there's one in McFarland coming and one closer to Bakersfield, but right now there's nothing. So this was our last uh, bailout option before we head to Tahone Ranch. I think we're gonna be okay. It's been fluctuating, fluctuating between uh, 34 and 36 percent arrival at Tahone, and I am totally comfortable with that. So we will continue on. Here's proof.
to Bakersfield, California. I think it said 12 exits for, for Bakersfield, California. Yesterday, when I was planning uh, this part of the trip, I looked to see if there's any superchargers. Obviously not, I knew that already. Uh, but then I looked for some Electrify Americas, and there were two locations in the town of Bakersfield, or city of Bakersfield, but two stalls were down at each of them. One was a four stall, one was a six stall. So, I mean, that's what the other side of the fence is looking at if you own another EV outside of a Tesla until Tesla opens up their network, which they're scheduled to do next year. Uh, that's what you have to deal with, which is really unfortunate. We're about 13 miles out of our supercharger destination, Tahone Ranch, and preconditioning just kicked in, which is uh, pretty late in the going. So that means our battery's been, you know, it's been running since this morning. Uh, when do we leave? 10.15 in the uh, morning. It's now 2.30, so I mean, it's been running all day. So plenty warm, just a little bit of preconditioning before we get to Tahone Ranch. I think we should have about 100 miles left on the battery when we arrive at Tahone. We could probably have made it home, but the humans need to spot, stop for other reasons, uh, namely Starbucks. We are approaching Tahone Ranch Supercharger 76 stall V3. Look at how many Teslas there are. So now your destination is wow. on the left. Holy smoke. Unbelievable. Lots of Teslas traveling. This is uh, coming up on Thanksgiving weekend. And so it is definitely busy. We are doing a really quick stop here. We don't need to stay long. And then we're going to grab some Starbucks. And we hear there is some windy, uh, windy conditions up and over the pass heading into the Los Angeles area. So we are uh, gonna do a little bit of an extra buffer for that. Wow, this Look is like... at this, it's like a Tesla dealer <laughs> dealership here. I know, that's crazy. Amazing. So cool. Which one are you picking? Over here. Right, we have one on the end. Look at that. All right, so check this out. A, a sea of Teslas on uh, Thanksgiving week. This is the Tuesday of Thanksgiving week. Oh, it's warmer than I thought. So we are gonna go ahead and plug in. We got one spot on the end, a little stretching action. No wind here. It's actually warm and calm. Is there an issue? Yeah. What's the issue? Oh, a bent pin. Yeah, let's not charge here. I'm gonna move it right over. Hey, good job, Marcus. Putting the, uh, so they, they know that there's a problem. All right. Good catch and good uh, not forcing it in. Very good. Good job on that. So, all right, we're plugged in. Let's check it out. First thing that came up, high usage supercharger station. We're going to start seeing charges, uh, extra charges from Tesla above 90%. But here we are. We are ramping up hard. 169, 190, 210. Do we see 250? 233. This is always fun. 227. No. You're gonna say no, huh? we're not gonna make it? We're going down. Oh uh, yeah, all right. So we are peaked at 212. We'll get all the details before we leave. So 76 stall here at Tahone Ranch. Let's take a look at uh, what we're looking at for home. I don't think we need much, but we'll do a little buffer for wind. So- We don't even have it navigated. No, go ahead. All right, so we're navigated to home. Check this out. We've got a 33% arrival buffer. We should, uh, we should be fine. We got 52 miles, 55% state of charge right now, 156 miles on the battery. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug and take off. I think that's uh, even plenty, even with um, wind. What do you think? Yeah. And we're at a high usage supercharger station. They really don't want us here very long. So 13 minutes remaining, but I think we're gonna take off sooner than that. All right, we are ready to go, unplug. Pretty short uh, trip. All right, we are leaving Tahone Ranch, Supercharger 76 stall. I always like saying that because it's so huge. Although there was a bunch that had some yellow tape on them that uh, appeared to not be functional. And then the one that we tried to use, also not functional, it uh, had a broken pin. Thankfully to Marcus, he uh, discovered it quickly and didn't jam it in there. So, uh, and then we put the, um, he, he was smart enough to put the 
cable up top and over that basically lets the Tesla engineers know because they're frequently showing up at these places. 500 feet, stay straight to take the Interstate 5 South ramp. It lets them know that there's something going on with that uh, particular stall and hopefully they'll fix now it. Now stay so. straight to take the Interstate 5 South ramp. So looking at the nav real quick, it actually doesn't say any are down. Even though we saw yellow tape on, I think, three or four of them kind of in the middle of the whole uh, area. So... So many Teslas. Yeah, crazy amount of Teslas. Let's go around this guy. I don't know why some trucks are slower than others. Maybe they're loaded down. See you guys. Just got off the freeway, another successful road trip here on Tesla Tips and Trips. If you're wondering what happened to part one of this, because you know there was one, <laughs> LA up to Yosemite, uh, we had some audio issues in that, yeah, it didn't record any. So it would be silent pictures of who knows what, just, I mean, it was pretty, it was beautiful footage, but there's no frame of reference for anything because you don't have me talking which, you know, I, I love hearing myself talk and all, but, uh, so that's gone, that's lost. That's a, like the first time, 350 uh, videos, I think on the channel, around there. And that's the first one that we've had major issues where we couldn't, couldn't use anything. It was just lost, it's gone. So only the return trip from Yosemite down to the Los Angeles area, Santa Clarita, and we did it. We did it in one stop, which we thought we could um, based on, all the little research that we did. I think we might have been able to make it home, like just barely, but why? When all we needed to stop, I think it was like seven minutes we stopped to, uh, to supercharge and get enough to get home. So uh, there you have it, one stop, Yosemite, down to the Los Angeles area, Santa Clarita to be exact. Um, super, super easy in this 2022 Tesla Model Y performance. This is a road trip beast. I mean, super, super easy. We, we love to tout the fact that the Model 3 is good at uh, road trips and certainly doable and certainly just as easy, but this is next level easy. I mean, it's, it's like a gas car at this point with a, with a seven minute stop all the way from Yosemite down to Los Angeles. So, so easy. So 107 on the uh, mileage battery here, 38%. Uh, We're not quite home yet. We're about a couple miles away, but it's close enough. And uh, thank you once again for watching another Tesla Tips and Trips road trip video. Don't forget to like this video. It truly means a lot to the channel and helps the channel uh, move forward if you like these videos, as well as hit the subscribe button. That way you're you know part of the channel and you're, you're watching us grow and you know when videos come out. And if you wanna go that extra step, hit the bell. You'll know immediately when uh, all of our new stuff is out. So thank you once again so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video here on Tesla Tips and Trips.